What's going on YouTube? This is um, a quick overview of a minimalist holster I had bought. Out of curiosity, I had seen some other YouTube videos on it and it kind of sparked my interest. I carry a full-size Security 9 and um, well, this, this is a great product. It's the Stinger Minimalist. I don't know if it's called the HL1 or HT1, but it's just the holster itself. They make one with a laser, and I'll end up buying the laser one later on down the road. But overall, this this product is is amazing. It does. It hooks onto your Picatinny rail with a uh, flathead screw. Uh, it's meant for four inch barrels. Granted, it's designed for a Glock. Now in the pictures, it does show a little bit of a gap right here. Personally, in the past hour that I've had this and just kind of tinkering and playing around with it, I, I would be, ultimately, I, I would feel safe carrying this. It is aluminum. I don't know what kind of specific aluminum, but the, the action and operation of it is buttery smooth. The belt clip could be a little bit longer, but I think the biggest thing I, I adore and really like about this is that it does give you full... The full access to everything. The gun is clear. There's nothing in the chamber. No magazine. Uh, um, so it is safe. Um, overall, it does have uh, CNC cuts right here for a groove for your finger to catch on. Naturally, your finger, I mean, upon a draw, your finger naturally rests right here as is. Um, I will I'll holster it and draw it so you can see. Um, as far as, you know, the belt clip itself, it definitely could be a hair longer. I don't know about going all the way over, but a hair longer and maybe with a, a slight inward cant. As far as printing and whatnot goes, this, it disappears right away. If you could think, you know, this is a modern day tactical boys in the hood. That, that's about the closest thing I can, you know, compare this to. But the overall operation of it upon a draw, getting it up, you flick your finger down. And honestly, it doesn't take that much force to get it to go where it needs to go. In a niche, I mean, it's going to do its job every time as long as you do your job. And it does lock up in this 90 degree, you know, type deal, or it will go all the way forward. Now, I'm sure with some shooting and, you know, some practice at the range and whatnot, over time, it's probably going to, you know, you'll pop a shot off and it's going to come back. But there, from what I can find, there are no pinch points on it. Uh, the collapsing of it is uh, this button right here. So you would hit this and it allows it to fold back into place. Yeah, overall... For thirty dollars and the quality on this thing, it's well worth it's well worth the money. I can't stress enough, especially for an awkward type gun like this. It, the Security Nine is awkward enough to get holsters for. I was using a Black Hawk size seven, you know, IWB without the. I think it's called the Tac Grip. It worked. But I did notice that they were tarnishing, you know, from sweat and everything like that. Now, granted, that's something else you're going to have to deal with. But overall, great product. So...